Our Health Watch, where we talk about all the topics trending in the medical world. As always, we're joined by Dr. Syed Hussain of Trinity Health of New England. Good morning, Dr. Hussain. Thanks for being with us. Morning, Erica. Thank you for having me. All right, well, let's get started this morning. We're talking about researchers at Drexel University. They found that kids exposed to screen time before the age of two were twice as likely to have sensory processing issues. So what should we parents be keeping in mind? We don't want our kids to fall behind, but sometimes we need some sort of activity to keep those little ones happy. That's right, Erica. And there's no easy answer because we're surrounded in, in this day and age with screens everywhere. Uh, but this study adds to a growing body of evidence indicating that there may be developmental issues if there's excessive screen time. So what I recommend uh, is um, a parents um, should have a discussion with their child's pediatrician. Um, there needs to be a holistic approach and what other options there are available, uh, whether it's, you know, playtime, playtime with other kids, social activities where you can get children involved away from screen time um, would be would be something that I would uh, highly uh, recommend. Yeah, it's definitely a precarious balance for sure. All right, so Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin diagnosed with prostate cancer. and We don't know how long he has had it or the severity of it. It does seem that prostate cancer diagnoses have become more common. What should people, especially men, be keeping in mind about the disease? Yeah, great question. Couple things. So it goes back to what we've been saying all along over the last several months, especially on this Health Watch segment, that the importance of preventative medicine and primary care visits for men, uh, including an annual wellness visit. Now, it is prostate cancer is the second most common cause of cancer in men. The good news is it's a very slow growing cancer. It can take up to 10 years for symptoms to develop. And if caught early on, then the five year survival is 100%. Now, if caught late stage where it's metastasized, then five-year survival can go as low as 30%. So it's really important going back to the basics that you get checked out. There are disparities uh, in terms of um, uh, uh, racial disparities that we see with prostate cancer. So African-American men tend to be more impacted, more severe disease. Again, you know, more work to be done in terms of enhancing access, but uh, the importance of primary care, I can't um, uh, emphasize enough. All right, now let's switch gears a bit, talk about respiratory illnesses, especially COVID-19, they're back on the rise. And with that in mind, some people may be considering taking Paxlovid for treatment, but with variants tempering off, is that a good idea? What should people know about the drug and who should and should not consider taking it? Great, so who's eligible to t getting Paxlovid? So anybody up over the age of 12 who um, has symptoms, tested positive for COVID-19 and is high risk for severe disease those individuals will benefit. Now, what the Paxlovid will not do is decrease symptoms or shorten duration of symptoms or prevent long COVID. That's not what it's intended for. It's intended to prevent hospitalization and mortality, i.e. death. So those individuals definitely need to have a discussion with your healthcare provider to see whether you would benefit. Also, Paxlovid also has a lot of drug-to-drug -drug interaction. So uh, f folks that do have, um, are, are at higher risk for severe disease generally are taking other medications. So that's why it's really important to have a discussion with your uh, provider to see you know, if you would benefit and what medications you may need to stop in order to take Paxlovid. All right, Dr. Hussain, thanks so much. I always appreciate you getting a little bit further into these medical stories and breaking out, breaking down the uh, maybe what may be complicated for some people at home. Thank you very much.